Hello, good evening and welcome to New Frost Morse. Jared's joining me, it's Monday evening. We put out a lovely video yesterday which was well received. Thank you so much for your love and support and all the contributions. And do appreciate um, everyone's feedback on that. It helps us to become uh, even better with our uh, reptile keeping. Now, it's sort of law, isn't it? I was thinking it could be another couple of weeks before the um, older sound was gonna arrive. And there was a knock at the door this afternoon and lo and behold, our apparently slow boat from China's arrived. <laughs> so the ultra scan has arrived and we're gonna just do a quick unboxing of that. But before we do do so, we've had a lock from yesterday's breeding pairs, which is the Pastel Lesser Clown Mango to Jared, your snake, Skip. Skip. Who's a gravel pastel, 100% heck clown. Let's have a look. Now they were locked this morning, whether they're still locked. We don't know whether they're still locked, but there's the pairing. So there's Skip. They're pretty much finished now. You can see his tail yeah. on her tail. You can see that they're they're unlocked now. But I think it's probably time. They've had two days together. Shall we put Skip back in his rub jar? And uh, let's do that, shall we? Okay, guys. Are they well definitely done. unlocked. Yeah, pretty certain they are. Yeah. Well done, Skip. You are such a stud. Two out of two. Two months on the trot he's locked for the first time as a brand new male yeah, good and boy. you can see how beautiful he is now the gravel gene is a wonderful gene isn't it Jared? yeah i really like it it's one of my favorites mixed yeah. with yellow belly yeah absolute wonders it is absolutely superb and the objective Jared, is to eventually put him or his son as a visual clown into bella and i'll just show you bella really quickly this is mango just have a quick look at mango She's incredibly beautiful. She's 2,100 grams, Jared. Yeah. And she is a first time mum as well. She's doing really well. So we'll put her back. She's a pastel her... lesser clown. Yeah, let's just give her her hide back so that she feels comfortable. And that's really good. And we'll just show you Bella, see how she's doing while we're on the snakes. And then we'll do the unboxing. So this is Jared's, one of Jared's favourite animals. And what is she, Jared? She's a pastel leopard, orange dreamy yellow belly, 100% head clown. Yeah, now if you get a gravel pastel gravel clown out of this clutch here, Jared, and you put that melt to her, yeah. what are you going to be able to shoot for? So the top, top animal, is the odds are very low, but it'll be a super pastel gravel leopard, orange dreamy yellow belly, 100% uh, visual clown. Yeah. So pretty much it'll be a pastel leopard, orange dream, highway clown. That'll do me very nicely. <laughs> yeah. Probably a world's first. I haven't seen anyone put one of those out yet. So we could be shooting for a world's first there, which would be lovely. Right then, Jared. So, and the yellow tags that we use here, um, you can see that's the breeding tags. And here we've got 59% on our humidity. So it's hovering around about 60. Right, let's have a look at the unboxing of the ultrasound. The ultrasound. Yeah. <laughs> you never know these companies. You might end up getting something random. Well, I'm pretty certain it is, Jared, because it had Chinese writing on the packaging, didn't it? So I've been told. So let's get this out. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we've got here. So we won't do a full demo, but we'll just make sure that everything has arrived safely. And that everything... So this is what you're going to get. £870 worth of technology, which hopefully will make us... Uh, give us an extra little bit of additional information to help us. So it comes with... A ultrasound diagnostics manual, which is very useful. Okay, it comes with a charging cable, That's an American plug. So I think we should have a an adapter. adapter. If not, I've got an American adapter anyway. It comes with a laptop carry case for the laptop ultrasound. So that's all good stuff. So we'll just put that over here, Jared. And let's see what else we've got. A box within a box here. <laughs> Christmas has come early. I'm so glad that we've ordered it before the Christmas rush, Jared, because the forecast is saying there's going to be issues with uh, getting presents for Christmas if we're not careful. So if you want to order your Christmas presents early, definitely order them early. Everybody wants an ultrasound for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the other thing I was going to mention, Jared, I forgot to mention this in the video, that another good reason to have an ultrasound is if you get um, an egg-bound female or you get an, a snake that mm. you think has a tumour, not only is this good for breeding, it's also good for, for diagnostics to get an early identification. And I think that could prove to be quite helpful if you do get an issue. Right, let's take this out together, Jared. Now she comes. 
That's the laptop part. So that's the laptop part. Right, let's just put this over here. Oh, it feels very cold. So there's the laptop. Let's have a quick look at that. See what we've got. Is that a scroll wheel? Nice. Yeah. You got your scroll. You got all your buttons there. Your screen, and then you've got your instructions there. And it's very chunky and heavy duty. So I think that will be very nice. I'll we'll put that there. And then there should be. It's just a protective cover, by the way. That's a protective cover. That will come off. And there should be the actual probe. And probe. And I'm hoping they've given us a linear probe, not a convex. Yeah, we do. We have a linear probe, guys, and that's what you need. If you get a convex, they've sent you the wrong one. I have heard of stories where people have been sent the wrong one. So that's all good. They even give you a little screwdriver. And they also give you... A power brick. Is that a power brick? Yeah, so we will need our adapter. There's a power brick. So that's the makeup of what you get. And there's also... That goes into the back of the laptop. And then that'll be your probe. Nice. And they've got a plastic cover on that, so I'm guessing to protect the cable. Yeah. Because there'd be a lot Stops of things. Stops any of the lubricant yeah. going yeah. on it. Good. So there's there's a quick um, intro, and there's the special gel that we've got. Jad and I have put some in there, so we'll do a demo later in the week. I'm looking forward to seeing. There's four gels I want to, I want to have a look at. I'm going to put this all back in. Which there, is so. like Panda, um, Sienna. I want to not open the box. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Joe, we can do this later, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just put that to one side because we're having a bit of a technology day, Jad, aren't we? And the technology day that we're having is Jad has finished what have we just done, Joe. So, if you look over here, these are what our old name tags used to look like. We've now upgraded and we've got QR codes so that we can uh, use our phones and just scan it straight in because we were found we were taking a long time putting in all the details on Excel. So we've gone with a company called Reptile Scan and they allow us to make these cards um, with a QR code that we can just scan. And Jad's been busy. What have you done, Jad, today trying to get ready? How many cards did you make up? It was about 160. 160. Mm -hmm. So we've got, even though we've got 184 animals, we've obviously sold quite a few. So we've got about 140 animals in the facility. We've got probably, I think we've, we've sold about 30 odd animals. So. Um, what we're going to do now is Jazz going to give you a quick demo on the iPad and widescreen of how to actually use the, the information. So, okay, let's let's go on there and have a little look and see how it all works, Jazz. Okay. So, if you uh, look down in the bottom right here, this is the app. It's called Reptile Scan. And what we'll do is we'll open it up. Yeah. And it takes you to your home page. So, if you look up here, this will show all of our snakes, so we can scroll, scroll through all of them, all the way down, and we're on 187 at the moment, I spelled her name wrong, <laughs> <laughs> apparently it's Hormonia. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a good omen, Jeff. maybe she'd be a very fertile <laughs> female. We'll, we'll keep it like that for now. <laughs> okay, so, it works better with a phone, but it does work with iPads as well, as you can see on the software, yeah. Sure enough, there's a little circle here with a, uh, a camera. Yeah. You click that button and it opens up the camera. Mm -hmm. You then scan the QR code and it takes you to the to the snake. So this is number 53 flame, as you can see there. Let's have a look. I'm going to zoom in on that. So, do you put that on your computer and then you laminate it yourself? Yes. Yeah, so it, on the computer, you write up all the information about them and then you can print off these QR codes laminate them and then stick them on your rubs and, and it's all free this is what we're it's all free yeah it's all free it's amazing and um, once you've scanned it it gives you the options you can feed you can record a feeding yeah so we scroll down now i have to say for the first time you feed them you have to find what the meal is that they ate but after the first time so a rat and this one takes a small rat yeah and then you write one rat or you can write notes saying um need to be assist fed or took a while to get them feeding whatever it might be yeah um, but once you've done the first one it will then remember what they've eaten and next time you just scan it and it'll put it up straight away okay so there's a bit of preparation time involved 
but once you get in the system, it'll save time in the future. You can do a shed. You can do it on your mobile phone as you go. Yeah, I yeah. I do it on my mobile. I'll just How are you going go. to attach the cards to the rubs? That's the thing. I've and got these yeah. Velcro pads coming that will just stick on the back. Yeah. And the Velcro will stick up against the rubs, and you can just peel them off when you need to and got put you. them back on. Okay, that makes sense. And also, when you're um, washing and cleaning, you can remove them and take them off. So. so Let's have a look at the These are the screen. options up here that you've got. Yeah, let's see if I can get into those, Jad. Yeah. Feed, shed, clean, clutch. So get clutch of eggs, you can, you can write all there. Yeah. So what you do is right now we've got the mother here, Flame. You'd scan the father's QR code. Yeah. And then you can write the clutch, how much it weighs, how many eggs there are, whatever it might be. We'll, you'll see that as we, as we start pairing so it in eggs. We had a pairing today that locked. So let's do Skip and Mango as an example. I like to do real examples. Okay. I don't know whether you can find their cards, Jared, from your heap of 140 cards. Yeah. But if you've got those two cards, why don't we just show people how to record a lock? It'd be easier because when we're doing it, it'd be on the actual rubs themselves, won't it? So Jared's going to try and find those two cards. And, and if it's too much of a problem, Jared, don't worry if it's, if it's going to take forever. But was it skip and skip and mango is what you're looking for there so obviously for this demonstration purposes it will take longer because we haven't got the cards actually on the rubs but i thought we'd just show you how the software records things and uh, pick a card any card <laughs> i feel like i'm about to trade my pokemon cards with everyone <laughs> uh, where are we probably the other pack yeah chances <laughs> are yeah but we'll check just in case yeah Skip. Then skip. So let's have a look at skip while you find mango. So this is what skips details. Mango. And we've got mango. Okay, fine. So we've got the two cards. So with your phone, say you had your phone. Let's say the iPad represents the phone. Though. Okay. Um, so this, these will be up on their, on their rubs. Yeah. We'll uh, click that button. We'll scan yeah. the QR code. It works better on a phone, but yeah. iPads work as well. So okay. what's it taking us to? Number so 105. 105 Mango, Yeah. which is on the card, and we want to say pairing. So we've paired it to the mate, so then we'd go over to his rub, Yeah. and we'd scan his QR code. Yeah. Mating not possible. Female, male. Oh, I've done Mango, t I've done Mango twice. Okay. Okay, so I'm actually supposed to do skip. Skip. So Sorry. we'll do that again, pairing. Yeah. And we'll scan skip. <laughs> Technology is a beautiful thing. It's getting focused, isn't it? <laughs> there Maybe we go. It's doing it now. It's probably because it's picked okay. up mango again. So now what we've seen is mango mating to skip. So this was an introduction, but they bred. So we'll put breeding. Yeah. And breeding to skip and a tick on the top. So now if we go to my reptiles, uh, sorry, if we if we scan skip again, if it does it quicker this time. Okay, we'll do mango. Okay. We can go on activities. We can see up the top, mango paired with skip breeding. And it's got the date and the time on there. So we'll be doing some recording as it's all happening. Exactly. Okay. So that's one example of how you record as you go. And see, once everything's set up, it will run smoother and it should be easy to record everything. And Yeah, and you can write ultrasound. Once you've ultrasound them, you can say what it was, how many eggs you count. Yeah. And you can write notes for you to remember next time. Um, you can put their weight in. Yeah. Their length, if you do that. We don't do that, but um, other... So you can write if they've had a medication, if it's defecation, sperm plugs, pre-shed, follicles, ovulation. You can write all of these things. Okay. That's good. And what about... If, um, if you buy the pro version, I think it's £59 for the year, you can make your own headings as well and you can reorganise it all. Okay. But on the free version, which we have, yeah. so it is. You can add a photo. So you can click a photo and take a photo of an animal. Take a picture of the animal. So that them up. on there. Yeah. And I understand a bit like North Market, they have a, their own markets. Reptile Scan have their own marketing ability, so you can share information on your snakes between other people that, that might be running it or buying from you, 
and they can choose amongst your available infinity with all the details there. So yeah. instead of you uploading it to Morph Market, you can also remotely share that information with key people that are showing a genuine interest. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't got it all set up yet, but yeah, it's all new. But once it's all put in and everything, and we've got it all on the rubs, we can play around with it and yeah, do a proper update. Thank you, Jared. So that's just a little brief summary of where we are with everything. So um, thank you, Jared, for showing us that. Jared's bringing me into the technology side of doing things. We've done it on our other business where we've brought in really good technology that's helped us. And Jared was saying it takes time to set up initially, but it saves you a long time in the future. Um, and I think as your collection gets bigger, these kind of technology things will help. And it hopefully um, we'll let you know how it goes when we do the next feeding, which is later this week. Hopefully we'll have all of the cards up and we'll, we'll do a video showing you how quick it is once we get going, I think. Yeah. Um, but uh, thank you very much for your love and support and we shall see you next time. Bye bye for now.